what's up guys so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of these so this is one that I actually made yesterday um, and I thought it turned out so well that I'm actually gonna make one for you guys so I've already actually started one here so that's one that I've started so basically all you do to begin with is cover the whole lot oops oh yay I suppose dog here doesn't really matter because it's supposed to look pretty rough so basically I've got some silver resin paint it's a wee test pot um, so resin's really good and it dries really quickly like I made that doll in the space of about five hours last night so that's not too bad for how quick it would take to make one of these dolls so you pretty much just make it as rough as possible and chuck on a few layers of this resin silver pretty much like that just kind of dab it on really rough um, you don't want it looking nice and smooth because that's part of the look is having a really rough looking doll I think these days things are too cute so that one's already starting to go hard and that's our first layer done which is awesome because the first layer is always the hardest and it also solids up after a bit of time and I've also got this little nail from a joke shop and I've painted that as well because it's a like a, a fake gold colour but I want it to be silver like an actual nail so we just paint 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 that up but I dropped dog hair on it before so it's a bit grubby now so we'll just sit that on top of the doll's leg right and I'll go wash my paintbrush and I'll be back with you guys in a minute while I'm waiting for this resin paint to dry I'm going to show you this there's a actual little bird in there and I've used nail polish red paint to get that real wet wet nail polish look which is quite cool got an actual key there so this is just my first attempt so it's still a little bit rough So that's pretty much what we want it to look like. And for this one here guys, that's what I've got so far. Obviously I've got her wig here, which I was actually thinking about putting back on this one. Um, I've yet to paint these, but I've got some interesting looking bolts here, which should work. I've chosen four flies and a bit of fleshy bone, which I've used glow in the dark bone. And just a, a toy skin scab and I've hot glued that on and painted it and covered that in nail polish to give it like a wet blood shimmery look I've got a couple crosses here which I'm not sure if I'll use and screws just because you know chuck some screws in here they look pretty interesting and I'm not sure if I'll use this but I've actually got this little dino piece here as well which is quite interesting so yeah I've also got some backup pieces in there I won't be putting her clothes on but I'm actually thinking about putting her pants back on because that'd be quite cool she's got some cute little pants here they're just dolls pants but I think because they're in such good nick we might actually put them back on the doll because why waste them if they're in such good condition and um, some fake blood here, which I've used a hot glue gun and made these little squiggles, painted them red a couple times, like two, three coats, and then nail polish to make it look like fresh blood. Um, also this eyeball here. I don't know if it'll work, but yeah, see how that goes. All right. So this has been dry guy? for about half an hour. How are you doing, man? Mm -hmm. So I got my doll here now, so she's been dry for about half an hour, so I'm going to 
start doing the back of her. So yeah, I'm just pretty much making sure there's a nice thick layer of silver paint on here. Make sure you go look to these dolls, guys. You can make them however you want. If you want some really twisted warped doll, who cares what people think? I um, shared my pictures of making this doll my first attempt on um, Facebook and someone told me that I was a serial killer so you're gonna get judgments no matter what you do so just enjoy what you do like who cares what other people think really okay so what I'm doing now is I've just got this nail polish that I've slightly colored with some paint and I'm gonna drizzle it on top of this hair that I've painted so I've just kind of made it look like she's had a brain injury and nail polish dries really good so we're just gonna drizzle this nail polish on there and just kind of brush it in a little bit and it also gives the blood a really fresh look and it stays looking fresh even when it dries. So you do your paint and then you cover it in nail polish. Now I may have to do it a couple more times so that the colour sticks. But it's a really good technique for getting the colour to stay. So I'm just tipping it on here now, just a little bit at a time. Jess, Charlie. And it gets that very wet look of fresh blood. So that's the hair that we're going to put on her head. And I've also got this arrow, little toy arrow head which I'll probably put through her brain. I haven't figured out which one of these. I'm thinking she's going to hold the scissors. These are old school. Um, I'm pretty sure these are actually from Seaview, the old psychiatric hospital. So if you guys haven't seen that, go and watch that. That's quite cool. But I could also put the nail through her head too. But I, So I haven't figured it out. So I will figure that out. But I've literally got to wait for everything to dry now and take these dogs out for a bit of exercise because they're just being naughty. So I'll see you guys once all this is dry. Alright, so now I'm just making the final touches to her headpiece. So I've hot glued this nail in there. And now I just need to give it some final touches. Dog, go sit down. Really should be doing this with a paint dish, but I prefer doing it everything just the way I usually do it. Got some blood on the sides here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting the piece of the bow and covering that in blood and kind of just dangling that over there and then once I've done that I get my coloured nail polish which I've slightly coloured red and I dab the nail polish on the blood to give it a permanent wet look so it's going to look like that 24 7 it will never dry and that's why i use nail polish because it gives it that forever wet look like it's a fresh head wound and when you're done it should look something like that 
so that's what her head is going to look like. So that's coming along really good. And our doll's just about dry. I've also put some fresh blood on her arm. And get the excess nail polish off. And once the excess nail polish it off, we can start to focus back on the headpiece of the doll and start getting, I've decided that I'm going to give this doll a broken arm. So I'm just waiting for her arm pieces to dry now. Right guys, so I've just put, using the hot glue gun here, some glue draped over these scissors and I've painted them red, the first coat. So hopefully when I'm done it looks like blood dribbling off these scissors. So that's what I'm going to use as her broken arm. So that's just about dry now. Oh, not quite. But I've used about, oh, whoops, about three different craft items to get this blood bone effect. I've got some flies, the eyeball, the nail that I'm going to put through her, which is just about dry. And I've also got these coins. So I've got coins from all over the world here. So I've got some from Denmark, New Zealand, America, and it says Liberty. So I don't know what kind of coin this is. Or even where I got it from. Oh, it's an American coin. There we go. See, so yeah, I've got all these coins from all over the world that I was going to kind of stick to her legs. So, yeah. Got this nice wee array. I was thinking about putting her pants back on because they are tidy. But I'll put some blood stains or something. Or maybe just as to not ruin the pants, I might get this pre-made blood that I've done and do it that way. But I've got to wait for everything to dry. So that's looking really good. Oh, wow. Look at that bird. But I'm not quite done yet. So I've still got to do the feet. And um, the broken arm. That's the beginnings of the broken arm there. So, yeah. So what I'm doing now is just pulling out some fluff to make room for this broken elbow. And as you guys can see, this is so old. Like the material that they've made this doll out of is like just fluff and bits of material from other dolls and stuff. Like look at that. That's really quite incredible. So I think we've got enough room here. Nearly got enough room here for our broken arm. So I haven't, I haven't actually done a broken arm yet in a doll before. I've actually never done a doll before. Teddy bears are my forte. So hopefully this turns out all good, guys. So now we've got this nice little hole in here for our broken elbow pieces. So one's going to have to, like, stick out. The other's, hmm. I'll, I'll have to set up the camera for you guys to watch this because this may take some time. Alright, so we've got our little setup here. Hopefully you guys can see a reasonably good angle because I can't actually see what you guys are looking at. I've just kind of hoped and prayed that it's set up correctly. Right, so I'm going to need to make room in here for this arm piece. There we go, that should be enough room. We'll feed that down in there. This might be... Yes. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm just plugging in my hot glue gun here. Pull off this old piece. Alright. So I'm going to have to put that in there. Let's have a cut the end off this. Uh, come on. Uh, wow. 
even toy bones are quite sturdy, guys. Mm. This may have been a bit of a mistake, but I've started now. There we go, got it. And the best thing about bone pieces is you can just repaint them and reuse them. So that's actually a bit rough now, but doesn't matter because that's the bit that's going to be seen. So we'll just move some of this fluff over. This is such an old doll that they really are quite fragile. And some of the paint's coming off, which is why we always take a while to do these. So, yeah. Right, we've got our glue in here. Alright. Let me jam that in. Awesome. Nice and tight. There's the first broken bone. Get a bit more fluff in there. Want to maintain this arm size. It's a problem I made last time is all the arms were different in size and it really did look quite silly. So now I'm just packing it back in and holding it into position with the hot glue gun. And that gives me time to spare to get the second piece adjusted in there correctly. Alright guys, so I'm at the point now where I've got a nice big bloody fissure in her arm. And now I've just got to make it look like a nice big open wound. And there we go. And there's our bloody arm, nice and blooded up. That's obviously just the first coat. So I'll have to put some nail polish in there and really get some colouring going. But yeah, that's what we got so far. Right guys, doing the final touches to her head now. Adding the last of the nail polish to really bring that fresh blood look out. Alright, looking good. Really bring out that wet blood look. Because this, this is going to look silly if it dries up. So yeah. Final touches done. Fantastic. Now, just got to wait for her booty to dry and her massive arm gash. I've also got um, her bandage ready and going. So what I'm doing now is these shoulders are not working. There's actually no way to hide them. So I'm going to just create my entire own shoulder. For this doll. So that is the plan. It's just to make my entire own shoulder. did not just happen. There we go. Got it. So it's looking pretty good. 
a lot better than what it originally looked like anyway. I'm just trying to take all this hot glue off my hands now. Because I've found it easier to spread with my hands than using tools. And my mother was a chef, so I don't really get burnt, per se. There we go. Just going to seal that shoulder off. Yeah, and now we've got a nice looking shoulder line. It's not looking sloppy anymore. It's nothing worse than a sloppy looking shoulder. Awesome. I think it's about time we put this hat on. This head of hair on. Oh shit. Yep, I'm going to feel that later. Alright guys. Looks pretty good. Awesome. Alright, and now I'm ready to put her hair on her head. I'm literally just going to fill up her head full of this hot glue. Awesome. Looking pretty good. Right. Let's go fuck it up. tight now. Just the perfect amount. Perfect. All right. Oh stop it. Right now we can um, start repainting her chest and shoulders. Stage two is complete. Stand up now. Come on. Stay. There we go. So that's what we've got so far. Now it's time to start puncturing her with some stuff. Give her a bit of a haircut on a haircut as well, I think. And that just removes all those nasty little bits that I can't decide what I want to do with. Awesome. All right, and while I wait for that to dry, I will go and entertain my poochies. All right, guys, so now I've given you a completely different angle, and I'm going to be doing this leg wound here. There we go. Little wounds. Oh, 
just going to make all of it blood because it's too uneven to do anything with. So that's just going to be one bloody mess. Kind of like that. Since I mucked up the paint job earlier, we can work with it a little bit. And obviously that's going to have to be some blood, because again that's some bad paint job. Alright, that's our next bit done. We have to stand her back up again because that's the best way she dries. Come on, girls. Hey. I'm going to have to make a stand for her. So that's what we got so far. So slowly coming along. Don't forget guys, she's only half done. Alright guys, just about done. Literally just doing some finishing touches here. Got to make sure this blood stays looking fresh. Alright guys, so here we've got our finished result. It's got a pet fly on her shoulder. It's got a broken elbow. Wounds all over her. Nail through a leg. Another nail through that leg. So, yeah. That is what she looks like. Obviously, I ran out of hot glue, so I still have to finish her. But for a shelf doll, that's not too bad. Oh, and that's going to fall. Yep, my makeshift thing in the background. And, of course... The blood on the scissors which will get held from that hand so awesome well guys if you enjoyed watching this video of me making this really interesting creepy doll hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified of my newest uploads and until then I'll catch you next time um yeah I'm always thinking of something different and I'm pretty sure it's about as different as it gets guys did run out of hot glue so I was unable to put the scissors in her hand so I'll show you what the scissors would look like if she were holding them should be holding these scissors like so so you can kind of see the blood dripping off them and it looks like she's gotten into a mad fight so I will complete that tomorrow um, but yeah I'm satisfied with how it ended um, different i'm not even sure if i like this one i think i like the other one better but it's still cool catch us later